you ever question why your auditor's asking for something, think they're going crazy or trying to drive you mad? Well, possibly. However, likely it's just they're trying to comply with audit procedures and standards laid out by the AICPA. A question I get often is why are you asking for this? My auditors haven't asked for it in the past. Audit procedures are designed to respond to risk. There's a risk that the client can become too familiar with audit procedures, making it easy to conceal fraud. For this reason, the standards require we incorporate an element of unpredictability into the nature, timing, and extent of the procedures we performed. Also, it keeps the clients on their toes and helps us to make sure nothing falls through the cracks. Why is my auditor testing my brokerage investment statements or asking me to get a third-party evaluation? Well, oftentimes those investment statements are not audited. Standards require that we test the valuation of investments. Testing the valuation of investments is easy for those investments traded on a public stock exchange. This can become more difficult for those private placement and alternative investments, and therefore, oftentimes, we request a third-party valuation for these. Why does my auditor wait till last minute to request an attorney letter? And then they don't release my audit report till they hear back from the attorney. If audit procedures uncover potential or threatened claims, litigation, or contingencies, we're required to obtain an attorney representation letter. This representation letter is gonna serve as the evidence as to those disclosures and estimates in the financial statements, and therefore we need that as close to the audit report date as possible. Why is my auditor asking me IT questions and spending so much time in the IT department? Risk. Auditors have to understand the IT systems around financial reporting and controls around those systems. We can't just rely on what's coming out of the computer system. We have to understand the recording of transactions, how those transactions are processed, and how reports are built. Why does my auditor ask me to complete these confirmations when I have statements to support the balances? This is a risk of fraudulent financial reporting to manage earnings. The inherent risk is that somebody could overstate assets or understate liabilities, and then they would modify the statements to agree to the financial statements. Please bear with your auditors. They're asking for these things for a reason. If you have any questions, please contact CRI.